everyone, Matt Metzger here with ABI Attachments. Welcome back to another episode of the ABI Dirt, and you might be able to tell that things look a little bit different today. Our friends in engineering left us a manure spreader to play with. So today, we're gonna make the best of a situation of having a manure spreader half torn apart in the middle of the R&D shop, and I wanna take this opportunity to walk you through a couple of maintenance points, touch points that will be helpful to you as you enter into the spring season. So a lot of you I know have been composting your manure all winter long, it's warming up, you're ready to look at those pastures and get out and spread a little bit. So let's take a look at what you can do to your manure spreader to prolong the life, make your life a whole lot easier all summer long and help prevent any downage or downtime throughout the season since you've got those maintenance items taken care of right now. Let's take a look. All right, so here we go. Some quick and dirty maintenance tips on your ABI Classic Manure Spreader. No matter what size you've got, we're currently here, uh, right sitting at the wheel of an 85 ground drive unit. Uh, so again, engineering has this unit partly torn apart. So if you see some bearings missing and some mounts missing, that's, let's just roll with it. This is not a finished product. If you want a closer look, a full walkthrough on an 85 ground drive unit, we'll be doing one of those in a couple of weeks once we get this put, unit put back together for you. Uh, but so this is just gonna be some pre-spring, pre-season maintenance tips to make your life easier throughout the summer. Uh, we're gonna start here and work our way from the ground up. First of all, here in the tire, there's three things you can do. Uh, to keep your unit maintained. First up, you see our greaser down here that goes into the hubs. So make sure you keep that grease. It's a great time this year to do that. So right here before we get started. Also, and here's a great example because we didn't tighten our lug bolts back down because again, we're working on the unit. Go through your unit, make sure your lug bolts are all the way tight and check your tire pressure and the, the uh, pressure mounts here on the edge of the tire. So those three things are right here at the tire, quick and easy to take care of. All right, so now, now we've moved to the back of the unit here. So you can see we've got our safety guards off and so that way we can expose the chain. So make sure, remember twice a year, go ahead and grease oil up this big chain. Make sure you don't have any rust issue on the touch points there. You can also see with these safety guards off uh, that we try to make it re really easy on you with these different stickers uh, to point out where all your different greasers are for the different bearings. Uh, since we are here on the left side or driver's side of the unit, uh, that this is the chain mechanism down into this side of the spreader that runs the widespread and the shredder paddle. So, uh, you've got a number of bearings that you've got to work with down here, all of which have their subsequent grease points. Spring's a great time to get those greased up. All right, so I'll spare you the walkthrough and all of the different grease points for all the different bearings. Just remember, check your owner's manual, look for those stickers, take a nice slow walk around the unit. Anytime you see one of those stickers, you know you've got a greaser close by, make sure to pump some grease into those bearings. It's just gonna save you a lot of headache later on. Now, another point, and one of the last points we've got today is the tension on your web chain, your apron chain that actually moves the manure down to the end so it can be shredded up and spread it out. So we recommend on our apron chain and slats here down low, we recommend about three inch gap between that poly floor with that lifetime warranty and uh, the space where you can lift up this chain. So here's how to test this out. Walk up to your, walk up to your spreader, be right beside the tire here, reach in, pull this chain up, and you should be able to get about three inches of space. If you've got three inches, you're dialed in, you're good, that's the right amount of tension. If you've got more than that, just with the wear and tear that comes on those chain links rubbing after years and years, uh, you might need to change the tension and I can show you how to do that. All right, so here on the front of the unit of the 85 ground drive, we're talking about how to adjust that tension. If you've lifted up that chain in those slats and you see that you've got four or five inches and you wanna bring that tension back down, that way you don't get any big rocks or anything stuck underneath there, uh, this is where you do it. So these sprockets up here are actually mounted to a plate that slides back and forth so that you can increase the tension on that apron chain. So you've got two bolts on the side of the unit. Both of those need to be loosened up. That loosens the plate up so it can slide where you want it to go. And then this bolt head here is what needs to be turned and adjusted so that you can move that sprocket, either if you're too tight, to get it uh, closer to the body, right? So you've got more slack, or if you've got too much slack on your apron chain, then you can bring that sprocket forward, creating more tension. Once you've got it, then just make sure to tighten these two bolts right back down so you can keep the tension that you've got. That's all I've got today as far as the, the quick maintenance tips. Again, I know that spring season is a time for a lot of us to get out there, spread the manure that's in the compost pile, just strongly encourage you to take the extra couple of minutes to grease the bearings, put air in the tires, check your lug bolts. Uh, it's just gonna save a lot of headaches later on. I'd rather you be working those procedures now than once you load up for the first time and you realize, oh, you need to, need to grease something up. So take the time, do it now before you get started. You'll be a lot happier, save a lot of time, save a lot of stress. That's all I've got for today. Until next time, everyone, take care.